Okay. Are you unmuted too? Uh, yes, I Are am. Are we all unmuted We're together? All awesome. 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 Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition, our uh, urban game, because, you know, we're nice urbanite type people uh folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy some cool stuff like this oh nice zippy bag uh, it's down there yes carol i realize someday we'll go audio only and they won't know what i'm talking about uh -oh. and if you want to join us on discord and chat about DD throughout the day because carol gets bored uh it is also down there most importantly if you want to be on one of our one shots or our talk show m hobo inc Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on here. Uh, you too can make an ass out of yourself. Uh, actually, it's two hours worth of good fun is what it is. Uh, and there is no wrong way of playing D&D. Unless you're a tabaxi and Carol's in the group with you, and that's just asking for trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, big shout out to Pirate Dog Dice for big red uh dice that roll too high and of course oddfishgames.com if your game stinks uh make it smell better with their adventure sense also if you miss their how to rpg with a cat good news october 11th uh is another episode free tickets uh we tweeted it out earlier but it is uh https colon slash slash oddfishgames.com ticketleap.com free tickets you just got to sign up to play it's a good time uh take advantage of it let's go ahead and introduce you to our fine folks who have created a living hell in the city <laughs> we'll start out with uh carrie normally behind the camera tonight she is in front and behind the camera tell us about yourself tell us about your character please i'm carrie and i'll be playing a necromancer halfling who likes to use Pog Cloud and likes coffee. And I have my tabaxi mascot back here on the couch. Nice. Uh, <laughs> next up, David. David, same thing. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm David. I will be playing Zadar tonight. He is a changeling, or she, a changeling arcane trickster. It's kind of fluid with uh, his non binaryness So there we go. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, our youngest murder hobo who is starting to get older day by day. <laughs> Caitlin, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. How oh, old? I gotta drink tea every day. That's what. That's why I had to say it as soon as you put it up to your lips. I had. To... Yeah, she's got her jammies on and her tea. So this yeah. is the flannel. Thank I know. You. I'm just giving busting. <laughs> I'm busting your chops. I thought that was something you got at a Turkish restaurant. Oh, I'm thinking of falafel. That's falafel. <laughs> wow, you're so old. I am wow. old. I... That was falafel. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> From our cafe adventuring group, really, is when we do get coffee. I'm Daffy. Mm -hmm. I am a tiefling paladin, and now we're officially level five, right? Not quite. Not yet. <laughs> uh, you will be tonight at some point in time so folks if you've been keeping up with the cacophony edition uh you know that these guys uh had a bit of a scrape last time uh as did famunda D's nuts uh the guild master of cacophony uh he got his shit pushed in uh mature audiences only uh, as he was chasing down a troublemaker from a monk uh group that the party had run into before. Uh, the party was able to get down there just as Famunda started to drift into unconsciousness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And uh, they, after a rather lengthy fight on land and on sea, managed to beat the Mistress of Pain and take into custody one of the council members who is believed to be Deluca. Uh, it all jumbled up at the very end. Tonight, we will do our best to sort it out. Uh, you guys were told that you would be released on your own recognizance if you agreed to show up at the council chambers in the morning. Are you still willing to go ahead and follow those orders? Yes. Yes. <laughs> as long as we get coffee first. If it brings an end to this nightmare... 
and we get coffee. Yes. Daphne, killer of Eunice, soon to be owner of Mr. Mittens. Do you agree to the terms? Yes. And then I also say, guys, we really need to get like a emblem badge that's like a coffee with a globe. Oh, they know awesome. we're coffee trotters. <laughs> That's it, Trotter's Coffee. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a great that's a great name for it. Everybody, roll a d twenty again. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, oh. Straight up. Twelve. Nineteen. Sixteen. I'm in. Uh, all three of you oversleep. <laughs> so we get extra health. Oh, you guys are completely healed now. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Oh, no shit. yeah, this is the next morning. Uh, were, yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> the, the door is pounding, uh, trying to wake you guys up. Uh, who had the high roll? Uh, was 12 the highest? I had a I 16. Oh, then carry. Daphne on. got single digits. Uh, Camille, you are the first to wake up. Uh, you realize it is Fauntleroy. Uh, he's got two shiners and a bent nose from his encounter with mistress of pain he is like where the hell are you guys at we need to get to the council chambers right now they're about ready to start oh fuck uh, i won't get coffee you will not get <sighs> coffee uh you rush to the government building on a path that you know all too well the morning foot traffic is heavy <laughs> it is causing you a great deal of problems everybody roll a d20 let's see if anybody steps oh. in oxen shit oh man it's gonna be 17 20. 14 uh all three of you managed to dodge the poop minefield uh that is the angled street that you were on you run around the corner to where the government plaza and the old prehistoric skeleton head is at and you discover the the location is surrounded by protesters again. still again uh the guards recognize you including swabby Swabby Steve. Swabby Steve. Steve. Who shakes his head and rolls his eyes, gives you guys the thumbs in. A couple of guards push the protesters out of the way, allowing <laughs> Thanks, you Steve. Three, I owe you a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> allowing you and Fauntleroy to gain access to the building. Uh, upon entry, you are directed to the left, which you are also quite familiar with because that is where you stood trial for uh well it didn't really stand trial for that's today uh but the last time you addressed the full council before ara was poisoned the room is full everybody give me perception checks oh lord oh shit uh perception okay <laughs> not too bad uh 12 <laughs> six 14. Uh, Daphne notices somebody <laughs> scowling at her from across the room. Because I'm a tiefling and they're racist. <laughs> it's because you were part of the shakedown on the Ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> he is present and looks none too happy. Uh, the council is currently getting to their seats. Uh, except for Zoran Zubek, who is noticeably absent as he is in custody. Uh, who had the second highest? David? I think so. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Zadar. Uh, Zadar, uh, as you move through the crowd to try and get to, to Femundides Nuts, who is up front uh, sitting in chair number one, an individual steps in front of you. It is Gibble. And he stands there. And he glares at you guys and he goes, cutting it a little bit close, aren't Did you? Did you bring my coffee? <laughs> Do I look like I have coffee for you? Did you bring it up for everyone? Actually, yes, we did. And he points behind you. Oh, well, I shoot Harris. him. And... Harris has appeared and he has six coffees 
Uh, he points out that since you are regular customers, he believes he got the right orders. Uh, this is his version of a peace offering. And I uh, tell Detective Gibble he is my hero. <laughs> Who wants to taste their coffee first? Sure. Uh, let's do it. Together, <laughs> all of us, let's link arms and drink together. I summon Omen <laughs> to detect poison. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I'll do my uh, coffee. Daphne, are you doing yours? Yeah, I'm taking like a sip, like a, like a, like smell. Uh, roll constitution check at advantage. Omen is not poisoned. Uh -oh. Eleven. Constitution plus. Okay, I got a nat twenty plus whatever else. Oh, uh, you else? find your coffee to be perfection incarnate. Uh, Camille, yeah, they got it right, but it's a little cold. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little cold because you like it steaming hot. Maybe if you gave it to the tiefling and rested it between her boobs, the body heat would cook it up. <laughs> uh, Zadar, when you're ready, you can also roll a uh, con. Con. Yeah, okay. At advantage. At 20. <laughs> so, 22. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Um, nice. <laughs> Gibble and Harris tell you, we got your back today. You guys are going to be fine. You know, maybe we treated you poorly. I think you'll see our point of view. Hopefully we can still be friends. Uh, Vasilis, Eugenia, Arawa, and Danica all find their seats. And Danica, who seems to be in charge, uh, hammers the gavel, calling for silence. Uh, Famunda sees you, and he just he waves you off. Um, they begin the proceedings, explaining uh, that they have a lot to cover, so everybody needs to just shut up and let this thing happen. Uh, you can tell that Famunda may have been healed, but he does not look good, and he's got a cane next Aww. to the table so oh. he got an ass beating uh the council uh declares that the order of the day is to find out if zoran zubek is indeed deluca the problem who attempted to murder uh our dear friend arawa we will start with the guild master from under these nuts uh and he is asked what he can tell uh, from his perspective, uh, he gives a somewhat dry speech and is unable to go ahead and tell them much of what they need to know, because although you have shared with him what you know, that is all third person. Uh, Danica seems to be uh, a little bit, shall we say, obstinate on... Uh, the guild master's entry uh she will then call one two three four five six five let us speak with the tiefling oh lord uh, Amanda <laughs> gets up uh grabs his cane limps over whispers into your ear daphne try not to piss them off do not kill any of them he hobbles off to stand with camille and zadar Daphne, they ask if you are going to tell the truth or if they are going to need to get a zone of truth spell on you. Uh, speak the truth. <laughs> I don't know what I remember. Uh, Eugenia will begin the questioning. She will want to know, uh, she has heard reports of two different items that need to be addressed today. One is she would like to know what happened to Eunice, the cat lady. Mm. The I'm one you lady. beat the sister of pain with. The sister of pain got her. <laughs> the sister of pain got her? Is that what I'm Is that saying? A question? 
<laughs> yeah, she. Hey, it's it, Carol she, Jr. here. She, she up talked on it. <laughs> uh, you guys are all going to the hangman's noose now. <laughs> yes, Eugenie or, or uh, Eunice, the cat lady down on the docks. We understand that you were utilizing her as a weapon. Oh, oh no, she wanted to help us fight. That's right. I remember now. Why did she want to help you fight? She Somebody stepped on her cat. Yeah, and she's hey, like, "You, you are too far away." Me. Shut up. <laughs> so I am to understand. Uh, at, at at least one point, you brandished her as a weapon. <laughs> she was a weapon of herself. She's a weapon of mass destruction. That's what she was like. I don't know. Uh, Vasilis goes, but now she is dead. She is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you witnessed that. <laughs> she sacrificed herself for our cause. Yeah, I thought oh, she was like, yeah, I thought she like jumped off the, the boat to like get her cat. All right, your first persuasion roll of the night, please. <laughs> It is. Mm, what are we trying to find things? Um, twenty, not natural. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Danica brings up the second point. We've had a complaint from Oda Otto the Turk that you were involved in a. Sh what? I just said the racist one. You know he's tiefling racist. Uh, he uh, states that you were with a large-breasted female uh, after you were with one of the syndicate members, and you were part in party of the shakedown. Wait, was that with Jessica? No, that was with Zadar. Billy being, Idol. Uh, no, no, pretty boy. Uh, oh, no, that's no. Right. Yeah, um, was... Frankie, too. No, not... Uh, Lucky Luciano. Lucky, lucky, yeah. lucky. That's it. And then he went back in. To give him Jessica. back the money. Yeah. And the guy said, screw you. So I kept the money. And keep in mind, Otto the Turk is present. <laughs> hey, they were un incognito. They were trying to find out what was going on. I yelled. Was I there that day? I was there for this one. Uh, yes. The council members tell you to shut up. It is not your turn to speak. Mm -hmm. And they say it in no uncertain terms uh, and request more guards as the assembled throng begins to grumble. Uh, Daphne, they turn back to you and want to know the answer. Can my adventuring party come here and remind me? I <laughs> need to talk to them. You, you are wearing the LGBT flag. Oh, you with, went to jail. Uh, yes, right before you went to jail. Oh, oh at the store? Wait, he's upset yes. because we took the flag. No, he's upset because you were wearing the flag and went into his store and uh, Captain Dynamo there shook him down for money. Because he was impersonating as, uh, Lucky Luciano. What's his face? So he just. Oh needed, yeah, yeah, yeah. The he just needed to tell him that we we're investigating. And, and you went in happy as a lark with the bloody uh, flag. Tiefling thing. No one else will get it. But <laughs> we were there. Creeping so in he's the going to prison. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to prison. <laughs> so what is your answer? We were following around someone who was up to no good. And that's how we ended up in there with the person during the shakedown. Uh, you hear bullshit from the crowd and the council people warn Otto. Uh, he will be removed from the proceedings if he continues, as will anybody else butting in. Uh, can you tell us more about this monk person and why you think uh, our colleague is responsible for the attempt on uh, Aro's life. So this monk cult, right? Isn't there like a cult of monks? 
Uh, you guys do not know what I'm the just going to say. I guess there's a cult of monks, you know, the bad churchgoers. Persuasion. <laughs> 17. Daphne appeals to the registered Republicans in the crowd, <laughs> and they concur that the monks are, you know, evil church types, I guess. Uh, Daphne, you do not seem to have swayed the. Well, you know what? I got to roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are four council members. <laughs> some of the council members do not appear to be swayed you are excused pending uh further recall uh next we will go odd even even zadar uh will zadar the alleged changeling please <clears throat> approach what form are you uh, in? yes councilman uh i am uh s still joan judd <laughs> Mr. Zadar, Danica once again, uh, who does not seem to like you guys. <laughs> we have been told that you are a changeling. Is this the case? That is, that is, that is a true statement. Uh, may we have evidence of this? I shift into her appearance. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, the crowd uh, begins to, ooh, ah. Uh, the rapping of the gavel can, brings them to silence. Is, is this a... Uh, that is enough. Okay. Go ahead and revert back to the other form, please. Okay, and I do. <laughs> so... Uh, we understand that you may or may not have become one of the gangster members. That is, uh, that is true. Um, we, um, I noticed someone was following us and I thought it was from an associate of Lucky Luciano. So quickly after the incident at Hebes, I've, I shapeshifted into Lucky's form to continue the facade that he was still collecting. And I went into Otto's shop. Proceeded, and, uh, go ahead. Proceeded to collect the, you know, his payment, which he did in a kind of, kind of pseudo begrudgingly manner. And threw me the, the bag of coins, so I walked out. Daph Daphne was with me. I said, uh, hold on. I shapeshifted again, went back, tried to return it to Otto, but he became, I don't know, incensed about it. And, and he is becoming incensed at this time. And, and, thre and threatened us with the hired henchman that he had hired for his shop it kind of seemed like he was going to antagonize the the ring with Lucky Luciano. He, at that time, he did not know the fate that befell Lucky. Arwa asks, do, so you still have his money? I do. If he wants it back, I will gladly give it to him if he will take it. Persuasion at advantage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, 21. Nice. Arwa shakes his head. Very good. Uh, it is his turn to ask. Uh, tell me, do you have any evidence specifically implicating uh, our associate uh, Zubek as my alleged assassin? Yes, uh, I do. And I, uh, we've provided the, the missives that were recovered from a box that I had recovered from the pawn shop. Secondly, some more missives that we've actually found at Alfredo's. And our last piece of evidence that we have is the bottle of poison that was 
uh, given to me by a contact trying to reach me from uh, the organization. Uh, she slipped it to me as proof of someone had definitely tried to assassinate or when we tried to get more information from that contact. But when we went looking for her, she was murdered by Pretty Boy Floyd in the back of Alfredo's. Danica stops the questioning and says, how do we know that Mr. Floyd killed her? Uh, he exited the room, wiping his knuckles covered in blood. After we had heard, and he was the only other person besides the decedent that was in the room. Persuasion check. Okay. This dice roller is hot tonight. Nat 20 plus six. <laughs> Danica looks a little bit upset. Uh, I, we also have a possible witness that could corroborate all this, but the problem is she's a minor. Uh, Jules or Goldor? Uh, Young Zephyr? person. <laughs> Young person. Oh, minor, not minor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, now I get it. Uh, Catch up, Galaxy Quest. <laughs> yes, yes. It took a minute. I was like, oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, when you rewatch this, the look on your face was so I am. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, actually, that would be Zephyr Zubak. The ward of the suspect? is mm -hmm. your and as she revealed to us on the deck of the ship when we apprehended zoran uh he is not her real father i think oh, 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 oh. uh danica again perhaps she was just telling you that in an effort to not be incarcerated. She, uh, Zoran Why are we actually hit. Incarcerated kid. Shut up! It's not your turn. <laughs> in, in Why the... would somebody use an old lady as a battering ram? <laughs> they didn't. She she fought bravely. She should have a statue. She devoted herself. Yeah. The mistress of pain kicked her cat, so that's what sent all that into motion. So you know, you know, I'm gonna make a fucking statue now. <laughs> yes. with cats below her like, or like a cat chair cats get a cats <laughs> look like Dorothy only with cats okay uh, continue continue the account uh, during the encounter on the ship Zoran actually had taken Zephyr as a hostage and held a knife at her throat and that's when she revealed I her. can go ahead and confirm this a booming voice is heard <laughs> okay I, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical, was present at this time, your honors and honoresses. Uh, I can go ahead and attest to the fact that what he has said is true to the account. I would also shut up and sit down. Yes, ma'am. Uh, he moves over to Fomunda D's Nuts and Fauntleroy, who are like, uh, fine, so... We do actually have Zephyr as a witness. So we will see if your account matches hers. Uh, next up, uh, Camille, front and center. Uh, Arwa sniffs the air and says, oh, the blend? The air. What blend is that? Blend? Your coffee. Oh, well, it's the coffee that I brought you that day in your office. That's what I thought. And a very good a very good brew it is. Now, uh, Camille, uh, how long have you known these individuals? Mm, we've been adventuring uh, around in these parts for a while. Coffee trotters. <laughs> And uh, do you find them to be upstanding and moral character? Yes, I do. 
Your first persuasion roll of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Oh, darn it. My dice roller is broken. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Ten? I see. Um, so, uh, about this using individuals as weapons. Uh, I have here, this is Danica again, I have here uh, a sworn testimony by a group of other adventurers uh, that one of your members actually strapped on a child to her chest and used it as armor. And that individual is Daphne. Can you confirm or deny this account? Who are these adventurers? Uh, they go by Mutiny Brothers. Really? I, I'm having to pull that one out of my ass. That's fine. Really? You're going to take the word of someone that goes by Mutiny Brothers? Yes. Why? Did your associate or did she not strap on a child and use it as armor. I remind you, we have sworn testimony and I am ready to call these individuals. I am unaware at that point because I was deeply involved in the battle. So I could not, with certainty, say yes or no to the question. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> persuasion roll number two. <sighs> <laughs> can I assist? It's, it's going to be all night long, boys and girls. Oh. Can I say, uh, I raised my hand, uh, uh, Councilwoman, if I might, I could possibly... No. Add, okay. <laughs> Twelve? Slightly better than before. So, in this battle, I understand that, uh, and... Uh, Vasilis interrupts. Well, now, hang on a second here. As I understand from our notes from Mutiny Brothers, uh, you had to take care of a summoned demon? Is that what the case was? Yes. It was quite taxing. So there was a heat of the battle and things of confusion going on all it, over the place? It was horrible. I didn't know if we'd make it out. <laughs> okay, persuasion for that one. <laughs> I'm going to throw that bullshit in there. I'm going to make you roll every time. Uh, 13? Nice. Well, you, you keep going up. <sighs> Do you have any information on the assassination attempt that your associate has not turned forward? Arwa asks the question. Uh, to Sadar, directed to Sadar. To Camille. Oh. Mm -hmm. I do not. So this is the width and breadth of the information that you three and Flamunda are alleging the threat to my life was contrived by Zoran Zubek. I would also like to, to see if Mortimer J. Sneed could come and... He is account. antsy like a kid at Christmas. He's just moving in the back like he's got ADHD. And he's just... <laughs> Granted, he likes to talk a lot, but he usually knows what he's talking about. Danica does not believe, but is interrupted by Arawa, stating that the inquiry needs to be complete. Yay, Arawa! with Danica! We will go ahead and call <laughs> Mortimer J. Sneed to the table. You are excused for the time being. Mortimer struts forward with a veritable stack of papers, dropping it on the table, spilling half of them over the side. Uh, Daphne, give me a D6 roll, please. They'll let us go just because they won't want to listen to it. <laughs> Three. For the next 30 minutes, Mortimer <laughs> drones 
goes on in great detail explaining scientific methodology as it pertains to modern law enforcement and investigation skills. You can tell that uh, Vasilis and Eugenia are kind of starting to nod off as he uh, goes on at great length. Finally, Arawa raises his hand. I applaud your scholastic endeavors and you have opened up an exceptionally good avenue for us. We appreciate your time and effort. Uh, you are free to go pending getting called back. <clears throat> uh, Eugenia and Vasilis kind of uh, startle. Coffee is brought to them as well. Uh, and they call Crockett and Tubbs, Gibble and Harris. Oh boy. Nice. Uh, to present their findings. Uh, Gibble again looks over at you guys. Oh boy. I give him a smile. <laughs> so, what do you think? Are they going to burn you or not? I have no idea. We have no idea at this point. No idea. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Danica says, I understand that you two were responsible for arresting these three individuals. Uh, Those fuckers arrested us? Yes. Yeah, they did. Oh. <laughs> well, we when were... you guys wandered into the uh, wandered jail, into the jail right? they closed oh, the door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. Um, they say yes, they were. Danica gets a nice smug smile on her face and proceeds to ask about the issue. Uh, the report of a homicide was brought up. The port. The report of uh, extortion was brought up. They then went into great detail explaining how Frankie Five Fingers uh, was actually the source of the problem and your original uh, accusers, Hebo and his wife, uh, have changed their tune dramatically, allowing for the three members of the guild to be released on their own recognizance prior to um, killing somebody on the dock. But uh, they have been found innocent of the original crime uh, and that's what they have to say about that. Uh, Eugenia, Vasilis, and Arwa ask several pertinent questions but each is answered in a tune that uh, gives you guys the high ground. So it is certainly appearing that uh, Gibble and Harris uh, are testifying for you. But then it gets to the scene at Alfredo's. <laughs> because Danica brings up the fact that two naked men were reported to be humping outside of Alfredo's and a murder scene was discovered with Zadar's alleged contact for poison. Um, Harris and Gibble exonerate you yet again, pointing out that the two naked dudes fingered uh, Lucky Luciano. I don't think you want to use that term when you're talking about. I naked absolutely wanted to two use two naked that guys. <laughs> two naked guys are fingered for the crime, uh, and they report that the death appeared to be consistent uh, of Sandra O oh from beating, and that uh, Lucky Luciano's hands were covered in blood, as were his face, chest, and pelvic region, because you guys carved him up like a turkey. Uh, Arawa asks them if they found any additional information aside from what Zadar found, or I'm sorry, what Daphne had found, and they present several reams of paperwork detailing the accounting, the books, if you will, of the criminal enterprise uh, tucked away in the How back. You always get them the tax returns. It's the tax returns. If you don't pay your taxes, they will fuck you. Uh, and they uh, present this evidence uh, much to Danica's dismissive nature. Mm. Uh, Arawa and Eugenia especially pour over the information and proceed to seem to have made up their minds. 
Danica reminds them that this inquiry is not only about him and he needs to cool his jets. She calls for Otto to take the stand. Uh, Otto glares at Daphne yet again, possibly flipping her off in the process. Hey, that's not allowed in here. And demands justice for she was part of the extortion ring along with the syndicate members and he demands justice and he demands it now. For I am a simple, humble merchant attempting to make my life better while I pay taxes. Can't he shift into what's his face? You want Zadar to shift into who? Well, the guy, that, who was it that was extorting him? Lucky. Lucky yeah. Luciano. Yeah. Okay, uh, I close my eyes for a moment, picture what he looks like, and then shift into... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we were undercover. We weren't part of it. We were trying to she solve it. She wasn't part of... The, she was actually helping me keep up the facade that Lucky was still on the loose. So you are telling us that uh, this incident that occurred at 21 Jump Street was mm -hmm. some kind of undercover work. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we repeated, That sounds very Greco-ish to me, but I'm not sure. We repeatedly it's a Greek -a -Greek -a to give him his money back, and he's being a bitch about it. Yeah, we did offer. Danica again bangs <laughs> the gavel, and Arwa points out that yes, that that offer is still on the table, and. Uh, he asks, will you now accept the money? Grudgingly, yes. If that is the decision of this august body. Uh, is it already have the money on you or are you almost broke? No, no, no. I haven't spent a dime. So, yeah. So I I, I'm it. sorry. How much was the trunk? The box uh, of wonderments? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that had other things. In it. <laughs> but I think uh, what... Uh, he paid was 140 gold pieces. So uh, he says he will take it and accept it, the judgment, as long as that person apologizes to me and points directly at Daphne. What did she do? What did I do? She was part of this cluster, and he doesn't like her because, as Daphne is quickly figured out he is a tiefling he racist he was he, he almost threw in those people huh but, that's right <laughs> yes why doesn't he have to apologize why is he making her apologize he actually she didn't accosted even take the her money. <laughs> danica will point out that he was the alleged victim in this issue right no, right I... but he was the one accosting him for the money not her she was just standing there we do not know that it was actually. Oh, as not. far as I know, uh, in their second encounter, actually, Otto accosted her. He's a racist. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and, and a I, racist is not against the law, at least in cacophony. <laughs> what is this, Trump land? <laughs> no, we're blue here. <laughs> so uh, Danica will once again ask Daphne, will you apologize for the misunderstanding? That does not mean that you are alleging that you did anything wrong. If it will make him happy. Tell him. Strap a child to your boobs and kill him. Tell him <laughs> that you apologize that he is so dense that he misunderstood the situation. No, I'm trying to think of how to word this. I apologize that your feelings are so deeply distraught and that you having severe PTSD from everything. I apologize that you cannot figure out your own self. One day you will, but... Persuasion. <laughs> what? Somebody's going to tank this role. 19. Ha -ha. Arawa, Eugenia, Vasilis, and the assembled throng including Mortimer J. Sneed and Famunda D's Nuts. <laughs> it's like a Rudy clap, you know? That's right. <laughs> Daphne, 
Down. Uh, yeah. uh, with that role, only two people are not satisfied, as you can tell. Danica and Otto grumble, but he begrudgingly accepts the apology. Dude, are they, like, in bed together? I don't know. Are you gonna have? You're gonna have to pay attention, I suppose. <laughs> Finally, Zoran makes an appearance. Uh, Swabby Steve and another, uh, we'll say Frank Burns brings him in as well. Uh, Zoran is brought in in chains, looking disheveled uh, and looking defiant. Oh, great. Uh, Eugenia and Vasilis are. Hold on, hold on. Arwa stands up and says, my friend, there have been allegations made that you were responsible for the assassination attempt upon my life. Please tell me this is a mistake. Zoran thinks for a minute. You and your kind can go to hell for all I care. I never liked you. I never will. Uh, Vasilis and Eugenia lean over towards the other two. <laughs> and they apparently have found something from Gibble and Harris's notes uh, that apply. Arwa sits back dejectedly and Danica feels uncomfortable. Aww. Snowflake. They go ahead and do a little huddle up and they discuss. They're very low so you can't hear them. It appears as though there, there are no two sides. It appears as though things are looking bleak for uh, Zoran. Uh, a few moments later, uh, they come to an agreement and say, we need time to digest the information. We will recess for one hour. We expect you all to be back here in one hour. Uh, all rise. Uh, they get up, file out. Swabby Steve and Frank Burns drags uh, Zoran out, uh, presumably into one of those side rooms. Everybody is ordered out into the plaza where the protesters are vehemently angry. Why are they protesting again? Uh, that the city has kept uh, their god. Oh, the that's right. The god that's no longer there. So you three are out there. Uh, Famunda says he has to go back to the guild house. He feels horrible. He and Fauntleroy hobble off. Uh, Mortimer J. Sneed, looking quite proud of himself, points out, well, I think I've saved your necks, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys like to do? Well, indeed you did, Mortimer. Um, I don't know. Lunch? <laughs> so we only oh, have an hour. Only going to be an hour. Oh. Hmm. The protesters are increasing their chance as everybody has exited the council chambers, except for the council people. Hmm. So what are they are chanting? Let let loose our, our God. Let loose our God. I am your God, I say as I walk out. Persuasion. <laughs> A lot of persuasion checks tonight. Oh man, just a ten. Damn. Half the people believe me and half the people don't. Half the people believe you and the other half are saying, she's the one that killed him. I heard she killed him. Yeah, she killed him. <laughs> Real God. An individual walks out. It is a halfling, a female halfling. And she looks at you and says, are you the one they call Daphne? Who's asking? It could be. Short, short halfling. On behalf of who? Oh, I am <laughs> Suzette. I am Suzette, the new spokesperson of our movement. She's having a movement. A bowel Party? movement? Celebration? A bowel movement? There you go. Girl. <laughs> you caught up nicely. Uh, Suzette wants to know if you are indeed the one responsible for killing their god. 
I am the god. No, you are not. And Fad is my name. What is? <laughs> Enfrad? Enfad? Isn't that the Afri backwards? E N P H P A. Just write it down backwards. <laughs> I, I, I got it now. Uh, the crowd the crowd is starting to turn a little bit ugly. Do you guys want to hang out here for now? I think we Not really. There go. <laughs> we and a pab, and 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 pab. And pab. Uh, and you hear you hear scuttlebutt in the crowd about demons always say their name backwards. That way you can't trap them. It's like records. <laughs> it's like records. Yeah. She's a beetle, Daphne the beetle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of cast like minor illusion and make bandages like wrap all the way around Daphne and all that kind of like the mummy was. Ooh. You you go with it, Daphne. <laughs> Two nat twenties and a seventeen. Only a small percentage of the individuals are even mildly entertained about that. The others <laughs> see right through it. Uh, yeah, two fucking nat twenties out of four. Wow. So, uh, and Pirate dog dice, folks. That's right, and they get angry. -er. <laughs> <laughs> so can like, they go talk to? Arawa? He is in chambers with the other three. Oh, mm. so we can't talk to them. Mm. Too bad we couldn't send out for co coffee. Right? <laughs> do they have Grubhub here? We do not have Grubhub in Cacophony. Oh. <laughs> uh, that ought to be something Dibble should look into. Oh, man. Right? Mm. You know, you could always try and summon Dibble Thibbet. You need it delivered. Dibble Thibbet. How do we do that? You're welcome. Uh, I don't know. Scream. <laughs> uh, I could send Omen. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, a, a familiar should be able to fly there that quick. <laughs> if he's in, D12 yeah. against me. Okay. D12. Okay. Eight. He's not in. I rolled a 10. Oh, damn. <laughs> Roll again. Ten. Two. Uh, but Omen does see him delivering stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, can you speak through your... Yeah, my eyes... Now, he, he's a good quarter of a mile away. Okay. Uh, my eyes... I hold on to Camille and my eyes go white. And coming into Omen's consciousness, I fly, you know, speed towards Dibble. Uh, I think we all know how Kyle will play this. Yeah. <laughs> so I will beat at you. <laughs> uh, 12 plus 4, 16. Does that hit Omen? Is, is Omen my AC? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> no. Uh, let, me, let me look at my extras page. Uh, oh, actually, Omen's... Uh, well, yeah, he swats at me. <laughs> Omens is 15. Uh, four now, hit he points. Four hit points? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's, let's see, he's still got a hit point left. Yeah. Uh, uh, do, you, do you want to make another run at him? Yeah, I'm just like, like, dibble. <laughs> it's, it's Zadar. <laughs> uh, 17 plus 4, 21. Uh, he knocks uh, Omen out of the park. So he poofs. <laughs> yep. Are there any feathers when he disappears? There can be. <laughs> uh, Dibble Thibbet is now the proud owner of a crown of feathers. Yeah, as Black he Dibble Thibbet's his way. <laughs> yep, there you go. He is going to be delivering stuff. So oh, okay. nice try, but no. Uh, yeah. The crowd's insistent, and they uh, are chanting, go back to hell at Daphne. So maybe we should go try to get coffee then. Mm -hmm. Is there a back in, uh, entrance to the, to there hall, is. Of, the you, hall of justice? <laughs> uh, there is actually, and I will show you what that looks like. Why can't they have a coffee cart? Come right. on. Uh, maybe they do, and you just haven't found it. 
<laughs> you haven't been it's everywhere. like we have time. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm trying to slow it down for you guys. Am I not doing a good enough job? <laughs> okay, so let's share the screen. Folks, these guys have uh, Mortimer J. Sneed's uh, Guide to Cacophony. Mm -hmm. uh, an excellent Highly tone, recommend it. <laughs> but it is not currently available. Zadar gives it five stars. It's like Fodor is yeah. only better. That's right. Okay, so uh, you guys are, we'll do hearts for Daphne. You guys are right here. Uh, your coffee shop is over here. Coffee chatter. The protesters are right here. You can, of course, take the back way, which is a long way around. Uh, and Isn't there maybe? a small alley, like, directly behind it? There is. Uh, right here. Is, yes. Sure. Okay. Down that route. Is that the route you want to go? Yeah, that's the route we'll take. Down a dark alley. <laughs> Why not? We've been through worse. <laughs> you know what? While, while you're on trial for murder, there's nothing like killing somebody. Right. Right. Uh, D12 against me, Zadar. We'll, we'll evade. <laughs> Six. Nine. Uh, the alley is clear on your way there. Uh, you make good time. You get to the Flying J, a.k.a. Flying Java. Uh, there is a line. Oh. oh. Okay. How much of a line? Two people. No, oh, that's fine. One of them is... Uh, oh, Lord. What's in that? Oh, that's, that, that sounds good, but spices... <laughs> what's in that one no, you know what no i foam gives me the uh farts uh wow. what's in that one uh and you can tell the flying uh, j owner sees you guys and so is doing this uh but you notice that he is starting to make three cups uh <sighs> Uh, could I have get the blueberry coffee? Oh, I I do like blueberries. It's pumpkin spice season. They offer. They have a I nice pumpkin do, spice I do, I do, latte. I do not. I do not. I do not Peppermint like mocha is wonderful. Uh, oh, there's so, just there's so Sugar. many choices. Vanilla milk. You know what? You know what? I I think I'm. I think I'm going to go have an ale. Thank you. Uh, and he walks out without ordering anything. Ale. Fortunately, the J has already started prepping your drinks uh, and has them done uh, too sweet. Because he is okay. awesome. I, he pay, is I, awesome. Pay, I pay for the coffee and give a chunk, really... chunk, chunk. Everybody gets their uh, frequent flyer card punched. <laughs> uh, I, I tipped our barista. Yes, we tip lots. Okay. <laughs> Just, just the three? Mm -hmm. Just the three. Insight check, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, la, la, la. Okay. Uh, 14. Oh my god, four. Six. That uh, of the three of you, uh, finally, Camille, you get warm coffee. Oh, Daphne you. has the foam ring around her mouth, and Zadar thinks, ah, should we get Gibble and, or Gibble and Harris some, since they brought us some? Yeah, yeah. that would be the thing to do. Two more. <laughs> do you know what Gibble and Harris get when they come here? Are they the... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. We'll, yes. We'll take yes. two of those. Okay. <laughs> two each, or just one of each? Well, one one each. of each. Okay. Uh, he whips that up, and it appears to be black coffee. Okay. <laughs> uh, one does have a spot of cream in it. Uh, do you guys want to head back the same way that you did? Uh, 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 hmm. Are, have the protesters dissipated? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, are you guys? Do you guys have your cloaks with you? Do they sell munchkins here? Mm-hmm. We can just go back to Munchkins and just like toss it. The protesters will go for it. 
Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, that that's that's fair. I was going to create illusionary gold and kind of scatter it, but okay. So you want to throw small children at them? Gold, <laughs> not not children. Oh, I, she said munchkins, so I'm. So. Oh, oh no, not that kind of munchkins. Uh, you know, um, pastry holes. There we go. <laughs> Like donut, oh, donut, donut holes. holes! Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you know they've they've got pastry there. <laughs> it's, ah! I just picture the kids like looking like cats being thrown at people. <laughs> to be fair, Daphne, that wouldn't be the worst thing you've done in this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining children. Oh, do you want the munchkins or do you want the gold? Munchkin. Fair. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you guys get it. You run up the main drag past the shadow of the tower of Uma Thurman. You arrive and the protest is really pissed uh, right now. Do you want to throw the munchkins or hand them I, out? Nice? I say, hold on, guys. I'll take care of the munchkins. You guys take the coffees. And as soon as I get everybody's attention, you guys can work, make your way in. So I pull up my cloak shape shift into some you know non-threatening human <laughs> pull off my cloak and Eunice. come come walking through hey everybody i got munchkins really with that voice that's what you're that's not, yeah, what why you not? hey i'm about to kick your ass let's eat these munchkins <laughs> Good calls, you know. well i had to how about a persuasion <clears throat> roll there, genius? <laughs> he had to, you know... Hey, you sons of bitches! <laughs> no, he was trying to force his voice out over the crowd. Uh -huh. yeah. That's not That's how I read it. it. So, <laughs> you want to go with an intimidation check? Yeah. Or persuasion? Yeah. Well, if you're trying to be nice, persuasion. If you're Okay, I'll go for pick, persuasion. <laughs> the munchkins are going to put them down your throats. <laughs> Take the damn munchkins! <laughs> Nineteen. Oh, yeah. Crowd gathers around. They love munchkins. Okay. Uh, the guards uh, seem a little bit relieved, and Camille and Daphne uh, burst through quickly. Uh, Zadar, you manage to do a nice little mm -hmm. performance and get on the other side. Uh, as you guys reach the front door, we call this meeting <laughs> the session. Uh <laughs> Harris looks at you too, and he's like, <laughs> "We we we give him his coffee." <laughs> oh well, then he's he's much happier. Gibble and sees I it. One to him also. <laughs> you're you're good people. Uh, the uh, four council people are present. Uh, they nod to Swabby Steve. He brings in uh, Zoran uh, and one of the quartet and you can imagine who that is does not appear to be happy um danica has a displeased look on her face uh as uh, eugenia is going to go ahead and read the verdict uh it comes quickly zoran zubek upon further review and from his own accord is guilty and will be put in the jail until he dies. Um, uh, the crowd is mixed on that. Uh, Zoran helped a lot of people. Uh, some glares, some sideways looks at you guys. Uh, and then uh, Vasilis calls for you three to approach uh, as Zoran is dragged off by Swabby Steve, uh, and he spits at Zadar. Uh, and spits on your shoe. Well, that's just rude. I'll see, I'll see you again. I press to digitate my boots. <laughs> Swabby Steve gives them a quick jerk and they head out the front towards the protesters. I'm sure everything will go well. Uh, Zadar, Camille, and Daphne, uh, you have been found to be exonerated in the alleged crimes. Danica does not look pleased. Uh, therefore, 
you have been deemed uh, as valuable heroes to the city of Cacophony. And each one of the three rise and hand something to you. Go ahead and open your envelopes. Ooh. I've been waiting for a long time for this, folks. <laughs> oh, with the golden canard. Oh. Aww. They give you uh, the key to the city uh, as a hero, as a reward for your heroism. This is awesome. Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> thanks. Um, Arwa himself. Thanks I give the Sally Fields. Me. You like me. Really like you me. really like me. <laughs> I was going with Norma Jean. Yeah. <laughs> Union. <laughs> You uh, are given the key as a reward. Also, Arwa presents you with a 50 gold piece gem each uh, as a personal thank you to him. Uh, most of the crowd applaud. Some are still not happy, whether it be from Eunice, whether it be from Otto, uh, whether it be from the two butt naked guards that you guys had. Uh, however, you are heroes. So you have been uh, placed with great honor uh, and the city is appreciative for the work you do. Uh, that being said, you are free to go if you'd like. Uh, but if you would, please stay for the next presentation. Uh, we are now one council member short. Uh, at this time, we open up the floor to suggestions as to who will replace Zoran Zubek. The dog. Instantly, Mortimer J. Steed. Danica stands oh. up and points out that Otto the Turk would be a fine addition to the council. He is a well-respected businessman. He has helped many people here um, and I think he would be a valued asset to this august body. Who has he helped? A lot of people. Who? Many. I, I've heard. I've heard. You've heard. <laughs> I've heard. Many people. I, want, uh, I, want, I want people. Daphne, uh, who did you call out? Zadar. We need another Z to fill in the Z. Zadar is mentioned. I, I, I say you. Mortimer. Mortimer uh, is mentioned. Two names I throw into the head, folks. Okay. Uh, Mortimer J. Steed and actually uh, our guild mm. leader, uh, Famunda. Famunda. Yeah, Famunda. Fauntleroy seconds the nomination. Nice. Uh, even though Famunda is like, I, I, uh, Famunda, Mortimer J. Steed Famunda. walks up and he goes, I would like to thank everyone who has nominated me. However, I am ready to leave Cacophony and cannot stay. So no, I, I respectfully decline the opportunity. Okay, then I uh, change my recommendation to Fumunda. Yeah, yeah, same. Gee, I never saw that one coming. coming. <laughs> Uh, Danica points out that uh, there are two candidates available for the position. Uh, there will be a general election held tomorrow on the plaza. Will there be debates? And Nope, there are no debates. <laughs> we will let the people decide. Um, that being said, are there any more questions to the council? Yes. How is the voting going to work? The way it has always worked. One person, one vote. Yes, but how is the vote cast? Stones. Into a box? What are we doing here? It's the Greek system. Okay. Mm. There are black stones and there are gray stones. One candidate has one color, the other candidate has the other color. Again, racist. No, they said gray. <laughs> it's gray. It's okay. not limestone. <laughs> okay. One, one's marble, one's limestone. So. And, and when does the voting start? Tomorrow at sunrise. 
And how long does it last? Tomorrow till sunset. Hmm. And, and how are we and going to advertise I, this boat? And I and but but before I say, are we considered citizens now of cacophony now that we've gotten keys? You are heroes of cacophony, so yes. So we get votes also. Mm -hmm. All the humans. Okay. okay. And how will this be announced that there will be voting tomorrow? We will make a general announcement, and the two individuals may campaign as they see fit. And where is kind of like persuading voters? <laughs> where is the general announcement made at? Will everyone have equal access to it, or are you only going to do that in the rich sections? Every district will be nominated. No, not nominated. Or uh, every every informed. district. Every district will be informed. Your game, send them all in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's the that being games. said, <laughs> we are done. Uh, the council excuses himself. Arwa comes over and again offers his platitudes, uh, his thanks, uh, and he gives Famunda a wink uh, and says, "Best of luck. Uh, I think you will do well." Yes. I am concerned about Danica and this auto person. I think there's collusion. No. <laughs> it would be the Maybe. other way. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Otto the Turk is a male. Um, that is how life is. Uh, they have been friends since they were very young. So I do not know if there is a romantic entanglement with them. Uh, but it explains a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Fomunda, uh, Arwa excuses himself. He has paperwork to fill out. Again, he thanks you. Uh, you guys all turn to look at Fomunda, who looks understandably concerned. Um, Dude, why? what's your deal? Why did you nominate me? You're the most stand-up citizen in you here. You're you the guild perfect for, for a council, and you don't have to be here full-time. You're already a leader. Yeah, you're Fa a stand-up guy. Fauntleroy goes ahead and confirms each one of your opinion. You're that guy. Yep, you're the guy. I'm the guy. Uh, you're the man of cacophony. Well, uh, where do we start? Hmm. That is a good question. What How? What What's that? Making cookies. Cookies. Yeah, with his face on it, and then we'll give it around. I remember to vote. Like, like election. <laughs> but now. So <laughs> or I, L. we go Something to the like coffee that. place, and we, well, I will take my gold, and I will buy some uh, gift certificates for free coffees with Famunda's likeness on them, saying, vote for Famunda, and go hand them out. Is that legal? Persuasion check. As long as Famunda's not doing it. Right. Fifteen. Uh, the Flying J is a big fan of him, and he will go ahead and give you 20% off oh, yes. uh, the idea, as he is a big uh, D's Nuts fan. Big mm. fan of D's Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cookies, Daphne, uh, did you want to go to ye old, uh, uh, business? What was that business you guys had to go to, to get the cake? Oh my God. Where they've had to, Oh, yeah. uh, Baker's Dozen. Yes. Baker's do Is that who you would like to use? Well, are we not going to make our own cookies? All right. Sure. Okay, it's yeah. best to contract it out. We're adventurers. <laughs> Come on. When we don't have all, all but all of you but Zadar has money. <laughs> yes, Zadar is really light <laughs> these days. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to make your own cookies, that's fine. Fauntleroy would be happy to help you. Uh, if you want to contract it out, same deal as Camille. Uh, go and ask. You know. The bakery like us is they ate us. Well, yeah, we helped them. Yeah, you helped them. All right, I'll go to the bakery. You're going to tell them what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a persuasion check. And we're making cookies to get the votes. Yep. Oh my god. Seven. Oh. We're kind of an auto camp here. 
uh, we've known him for years and it just wouldn't be right. We'll go ahead and process your order, but we can't give you a break on it. Oh, no discounts? No what discount. if you get selected and all those benefits that can reap in for you? Uh, now you're starting to get into corruption. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do that, Your level's going lower. Uh, Camille, how much are you willing to spend? All I have. What? I don't know what I have. <laughs> it's right around what three, three twenty-five, something like that. I think so. something like that. Yeah. And you got the uh, the gem. Gem. So that's three seventy-five. So you, you want to spend all of it? No, wow. I'll spend seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay. Uh, Daphne, uh, the Baker's Dozen is pleasant about it. They uh, hold no ill will against Famunda. They just have known Otto a, long, a longer time. What if I offer my cleaning services? You're going to burn the place down? No, I'm going to clean the dishes. You've got money, too. Yeah, but maybe for a discount. Be like, hey, clean the dishes for you. You're a little bit large for our kitchen. <laughs> Your teeth playing racist too? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're fine. It's they're smaller humans, and they don't have a lot of room back there. It, it's not an affront. I mean, you can see where they make stuff. If, you, if you've seen a bakery, of... sometimes it's pretty know. close quarters. Yeah. <laughs> I owned a bakery. I know. <laughs> so yeah, they can't. They can't help you with that. All right. How much does it cost for cookies? How much do you want to spend? I don't know. I'll go have these with you. How much? How much? Are, I don't know. What are cookies What are they going like? to charge us? Popper? This, uh, this goes into a larger algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many residents are in Cacophony? Yeah. Hmm. You guys have read the book. Yeah. Probably close to uh, 600, maybe a yeah. thousand transient total. Okay, yeah, something so like that. 600. How much for 600 cookies? And can you get them out by 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. tomorrow? Yeah, that'll be 600 gold. A gold what? for cookie? Cookies are like literally a copper. Well, I'm sorry. You did not read Mortimer J. Sneed's book. Uh, they can get them done by 6 o'clock. Uh, you know what? Uh, 600 cookies, 200 gold, one third. Uh, I'll split, kick in a little for that. With delivery to everyone included in that? Well, we'll be delivering it to the polls. Okay. We aren't going to go door to door for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much time you've got. <laughs> That's called the magic. <laughs> I okay. I, I, maybe I maybe Dibble Fibbit could do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll help defray the cost on that too. Right. So whatever divided by three. In. Yeah. So we're doing two hundred gold pieces. Yep. And a big hug. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, what else are we gonna do? Is it our? Oh, what thoughts do you um, have? Do you think uh, Dibble Thibbet would use his sky sign? No, we got yes. I wonder. I wondered if anybody would remember that. Yes, we need Dibble's uh, sky sign. I will. I will go see Dibble. <laughs> okay. I'll go with. Wait, what's the sky like in the sky? Oh, he has he, he a sky writing. Like, uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> He's got a sky writing spell. So, uh, you go down there. D twelve against me. All of us? Mm -hmm. Anybody. Okay. So, like, 66 gold or whatever, I'll chip in for it. That's 200 Ten. three ways. So. Dibble Thibbet is in. Yes. Uh, you open up the door. Dibble Thibbets. You need a dibble. I'll thibble it. Uh, dibble. And you, <laughs> you see the gnome. Oh, hello, my friends. How are you doing, my friend? Dibble. 
I am doing quite well. Business is booming. What can I do? Excellent. Excellent. I tried to reach you earlier. <laughs> uh, we noticed that you were out on food deliveries. And um, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got two feathers in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Those two feathers? That was me. <laughs> Maybe we'll okay. 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 Anyway. anyway. <laughs> All right, devil. Um, no. We wanted to uh, perhaps use your services to promote uh, our guildmaster. He is running for for councilman. We were wondering if we could use your Ooh. skywriting from ability. From under nuts. Yes, 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 I'm familiar with him. I've met him several times. Yes. A fine man. Who's he running against? Uh, he is running against Otto Ottoman. Fuck that guy. Yay. <laughs> All right. Three. You are you are a good man. So can we use your sky sign to advertise? Because it's the the vote is tomorrow. And we need to do it from sunrise to sunset. Please, Persuasion? please, please, please. I promise to not hit you in the nuts. Again. Yes. Uh team at twelve. Uh, Zadar, Zadar will try some persuading. <laughs> Ooh, not with that roll. <laughs> 16. You made it worse? <laughs> yeah, 16, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's very expensive to use that, and normally I only use it for myself. I'll put how much are we, uh, are, how are we, how much are we talking, Dibble? I mean, you know, we have a past. <laughs> yes, my nuts remember her. <laughs> Excluding that incident. <laughs> it would be a hundred gold pieces for the morning, one hundred for the afternoon, and one hundred for the sunset. Ah. Oh gosh, you're killing us, Dibble. I uh I'm here to make money. Mm. You dibble it, I thibble it. Mm. Well, and if ouch. Kyle were here, he'd be putting the screws to yeah, you. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he would. That's why. That's the reason why you're doing this. <laughs> and it's the dice giveth and the dice take it away. away. Now, uh, he will say, if you don't want one of them, eh, it goes down to 200. Huh? If you, if you only want it once, 100. Once what? Mm. How about he's, Sky... he's divided the day into uh, three parts. Would it, be called, would it be considered electioneering if they could see it during the the election what do you mean you know how it's uh well you know illegal you within, within 100 feet of the poles right but this right. is the sky so it's the sky yeah no way. so it's not considered electioneering i okay. would say let's pay for the first part of the morning 100 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah if you allow me to do your sky riding and tack on my name well i thought that that was part of the deal is that your name will be mentioned i was it. unaware of that uh yeah. i will give you a discount of 20 percent. okay so 80 gold pieces per every three hours let's see i've already spent 100 mm-hmm uh okay i'll sponsor uh, the first round okay uh i'll take uh the second so that's 80 oh i'm gonna have to do a lot more adventuring <laughs> daphne are you gonna put in on uh dibble thibbet or say fuck it two's enough i think two's enough yeah probably okay uh any other great ideas Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm sure there are some Famunda friendly uh, bars or taverns oh, around here. I mean, Famunda used balloon. to be a. Ooh. Wonder how much it would cost. No, I mean, we've got the sky riding. So. so we've got coffee, we have cookies, we've got sky riding. Hmm? So we're talking think, to their tummies and their eyes. What else can we do? Hearts and minds. Hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Hookers always work. Well, we can try that. 
Yeah, if Amundra's got some bard friends, we can Ooh, get some bards to bards. spin some tales and sing some songs in some of the, the Fomunda friendly taverns. Yeah. Okay. If I was a bard, I'd sing about him. <laughs> there are, as you well know, a multitude of bars downtown. Yes. Or in every district, actually. Okay, what about uh, and the time is that... running short because your issue lasted the better part of the day. Yeah. Um, any any other bright ideas? That that's about it for me. That's all I got. <laughs> so, do we know what Otto is doing? You have no idea what Otto is doing. Okay, so I say we rest and then we guard the poles to make sure there's no felonious activities going on. Voter intimidation. No. no we're, not, we're not intimidating. We're making no. sure that people aren't voting early and often. Well, aren't you guys just cacophonies proud boys? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. The other person, and then there is no one else to have to vote again. Good call, young, youngest murder homo. <laughs> Auto dies. <laughs> how many times did you want to be on trial for murder? <laughs> We've covered for you how many times? I do not know if she strapped her baby to her chest. Daphne, yeah, I'm, a, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a trickster, not an assassin. <laughs> Daphne, a D12? Mr. Mittens has found you. Oh, Mr. Mittens. It is a white cat with black paws. Aw. Is Some he a little like cat? Between each other? Or is he a tabaxi? Is, is he he's what? Not a fam he's not a familiar. <laughs> is he like telepathy? Be like, yo, he's is he murdered. just a little tiny cat? Just a cat. Aw. He needs Look. to be the Guildhouse cat. He can still smell his former mistress on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. folks, I just said it. <laughs> okay, I'm say, what part of her? Oh, Carrie okay, uh, went a step further. That's right. <laughs> yep. So we've all pushed the edge here. Uh, so, Daphne, okay, you have boys. inherited Mr. Mittens. No, I want Mr. Mittens. Yes, Mr. Mittens. She's a tiefling. She's going to burn him up. Probably. I love or use him okay. as a sap. <laughs> Club people with him. Camille says, as long as you're good at Mr. Mittens, you can have him. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> or my bag, whatever I have. Yeah, do the bag like the lady playing the violin. So is uh, there a, an animal rescue place here? Me. <laughs> Apparently, it's just Daphne because okay. uh, Mortimer J. Sneed never found it. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, what do, what do you guys? What's the plan now? Road catnip. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just to vote tomorrow and see how the election goes. Rest and yeah. watch the election to make sure it's all groovy. As you go back to your adventurous bungalow, you notice that the door is open and your other colleagues are present. Uh, everybody else who has been able to participate in cacophony is there. They've been actively going to the bars, trying to get the vote to sway towards your master. There's also Mortimer J. Sneed present, along with a young girl, <sighs> Zephyr. Oh. Oh, Zephyr, uh, I was going to say, does she have boobs? Oh, What's oh, okay. Uh, no. That um, brings me to my next endeavor. Go ahead. I was supposed to talk to Mortimer, uh, but, and he talked to Zephyr, see if Zephyr's interested in going to the academy. They have agreed. Okay. All right. And that, that is the news that he is going to tell you. He is oh, sorry. Didn't mean... No, it, no, that's fine. Uh, yes, you had discussed it with him. Uh, he has approached her. She has nothing. Uh, so she has agreed to go with Mortimer J. Sneed, uh, educator and 
uh, author, uh, to the Grand Academy, where he will attempt to get her in the next class. Um, I run up and grab her and hug her. Doss girl, my sister, I will miss you. Uh, buh, buh, buh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, buh, buh, buh. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a teenager, whatever. He has already booked passage for both of them on the Manicore, which will be leaving in the morning. Uh, sadly, he will not be able to vote, although he does point out he is not a citizen. Uh, Zephyr points out that she cannot vote because she is a juvenile delinquent. Uh, but she wishes you guys well. Uh, Mortimer J. Sneed uh, says that he hopes to run into you friends again, and a tear wells up in his eye. Uh, I'm just like, oh, Mortimer, we right. do too. <laughs> Uh, it is sad for him to leave you guys, uh, but he understands you are busy. He wanted to tell you sooner, but you guys were running around. Fortunately, you got a hold of him. Uh, we will be gone before daylight, because uh, okay. that's when the tide goes out. So, uh, the other members of your bungalow have also bedded down. You guys are going to Excuse me, bed down for the night, I take it? Uh, yes, yes. When you awake, you will be fifth level. You have garnered nice. enough points to go ahead and rise in your level of expertise in each of your endeavors. Uh, the morning breaks anew. Uh, everybody give me a con check, please. <laughs> See if we're hungover? <laughs> nope. See if you wake up on time. Ha ha, 20. What was uh, it, Daphne? 17. 19. All three of you wake up along with your other cohorts in there. Uh, it is suggested that you each go to the different districts and make sure last minute preparations are done to make mm -hmm. sure that you get the vote out because people voting is important. Yes. It, is it that is. what you would like to do? Notice how we just meshed that shit in. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> Vote blue, no matter who. Shut up, man. <laughs> uh, you guys head on out. You talk to as many people as you can. Uh, the city is just starting to wake up. The polls will be open shortly. Uh, do you insist on guarding the polls no we're not going going guarding the polls we're not intimidating we're just keeping an eye out for any shenanigans so i want to go over to our coffee shop and see if we can get a uh the you can get like poor things a carafe yes and have those out so people can get their coffee and i can preach to the choir about the virtues of Femunda. You may. Uh, <laughs> for the craft, it's going to be 25 gold or 50 gold if you want it to last all day. 50. I'm going to be poor by the time this shit's over with. Everybody's going to be We poor. need a man like Chaucer from A Knight's Tale to Amen. gild the lily. <laughs> you know him. You love him. <laughs> Silence on the mountain. Yes. <laughs> just, just to understand. Uh, well, you guys have certainly done your best. There are two raised podiums on one auto stands on the other. Uh, I thought there was just going to be voting. There was not going to be any of this stuff. Well, they have to know who they're voting for. Yes. <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, and I, they, I have they come preach. I have complete faith in Femunder. He is a bard. He's a bard. That's yep. true. So, uh, by my count, let's see how much you guys have spent on this election. Oh, That's God. why you need election reform, people. Exactly. And no. This was the, this was the Femunder Super Pack. <laughs> nice. Right. I know electoral college, fuckers. Yeah. Electoral colleges suck. <laughs> It's always the popular vote, folks. Oh, that's not good for you guys. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, Daphne, you have blessed, don't you? 
Right? Don't you have bless as one of your spells? Yeah. That can be used for ability checks, right? Three creatures of your choice. Whenever they make an attack roll or saving. Oh, just attacks and saves. Okay. Dice give it and the dice take it away, folks. Oh, it's guidance. Guidance gives no. you that. Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, each of you give me a straight up d20 roll. Add your persuasion bonus, please. 16 plus persuasion bonus. That is not good. Uh, with my new stats? Uh, yes, because you're fifth level. Okay. 16 plus 7. Yeah, you were in the bathroom. I'm sorry, what'd you say? 16 plus 7. Uh, 23. Yeah, because uh, Daph- I rolled a nat 1 and I got plus 2. Wow. Uh, were you doing persuasion? Yep. Mm-hmm. A nat one. What'd you do? Piss on him? Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, thirteen. Well, if we were sitting at a table, Caitlin, I would loan you my dice, my rainbow dice. Well, I have. I got this like super heavy metal one. That was really cool. <laughs> it was all, like, find earlier now it's like me you need to you need to message me and tell me what kind of dice you want i'll make them for you what kind of like colors anything okay uh everybody insight check please insight all right i'm trying to kiss my cat insight okay (laughs) Uh, that's the name of the cat insight (laughs) 14 Insight. Uh, seven. Fifteen. Insight. Uh, Camille, you do not notice anything going on. Zadar and Daphne, you notice that there are a rather large amount of black stones being cast, and that would indicate that it is Otto the mm. Turk. Uh, you notice that a large majority of those are coming from the protest okay. vote. Uh, you do not notice anyone voting twice. Uh, you do not notice anyone interceding in an unusual manner. As you and your other colleagues are posted around the plaza, everything appears from your roles to be on the up and up. Uh, midway through the day, Camille, your other carafe comes by. Uh, Dibble has kept his word and he has used his skywriting technique. However, someone else has used their own skywriting technique. Uh, a witch on a broom. Oh, uh, that bitch. For Otto. Uh, Uma Thurman apparently is firmly in the furniture. Um, has her gar- gargoyle been fixed? It has just recently it. been I was going to offer to do it for her. I got mending. Well, that too little, too late. We've if been a little have, busy. Uh, <laughs> if you would have calmed the protesters when you had the chance, it would have been a runaway. Yeah. Uh... Who wants to roll for Famunda? And I will roll for Otto. Um, it's up to you guys. Who wants to do what? My rolls have been shit, so... Okay. Alright. Percentage dice. Percentage. Okay. Indicating 100. Alright. Alright. You ready? Yep. Alright. 50 and 0. So, 10. <laughs> So what, 50%? 50%. I was going to say... F- 500! <laughs> well, hold it. Is it 50 and a 1? Uh, 50 and a 0. Oh, okay. Yes, 50. Mm-hmm. 
that's that's going to require me to do math. <laughs> the meeting, I can roll again. Yeah. No, that's that's very fucking close here. Well, these are two very popular individuals. They are indeed. Uh, Otto needs to die. Hmm? Huh? Otto needs oh, to Otto. die. <laughs> well, we're, we're not that those kind of heroes. Wink. Uh, I don't know. Talk to Caitlin. I think she's ready to speak. I, I wink at Caitlin. <laughs> Make cats ready to kill people. I would say, where's Mr. Mittens? <laughs> no <laughs> shit. Well, we 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 oh, train an assassin you're cat. Fuck me over, aren't you? No, the dice will fuck you over. Yes. I will not do anything. Uh, the polls have closed, and the four council members begin the delivery, the laborious time of counting the stones. No. Uh, Danica will be with Arwa. Vasilis will be with Eugenia. Uh, and it will take them quite a while to count. Uh, Fomunda comes over and thanks each of you. Uh, Fauntleroy comes by and brings food for everybody. Otto the Turk has the same amount of followers uh who have done their legwork and I am not shitting you the dice giveth and the dice taketh away after several hours of counting uh a bell is rung uh, uh -huh. torches have been brought out it is dark uh the plaza is ringed in torchlight is and this the, the bell of your sex life that's being rung Yes, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting any if this doesn't go well. No, uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, the good news is Mr. Mittens is just adorable, Daphne. <laughs> yeah. the, the cat loves you to no end. Uh, Danica takes the podium and announces a winner has been accounted for. Mm. Uh, Can I... Can I do a perception check, like the her demeanor? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a scowl over here. <laughs> nice. Hey, dice give it, dice take it away, man. Seventeen. Uh, she seems to be happy. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> so, uh. Yes, happy wife, happy life. Uh, the other three members are down below the podium, as are uh, Otto the Turk, as well as Flamunda D's Nuts. She congratulates both participants and their followers and has announced that two, I'm sorry, yes, two fucking votes made the difference it was 535 to 533 uh everybody is on pins and needles amanda <laughs> does not look happy arawa is a straight no read you okay. can't i got my hand on Fumunda. i'm like you know let's hope <laughs> with 533 votes cast Otto the Turk no. has come in second. Famunda D's Nuts received 535 votes. No shit. That's how fucking close it is. <laughs> uh, Famunda is stunned. Uh, Otto the uh, Turk moves over towards him and congratulates him. I don't trust uh, him. He and his friends are dejected. It was a very tight race, uh, but they are willing to accept the results because that's what a fucking adult so does. But they're not. Yes. He's changed the keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to remove all the T's. Uh, Fauntleroy is overjoyed. Uh, Famunda is in a state of shock. 
Uh, I morph into Jessica Rabbit and give him a big busty hug. <laughs> nice. Well, see, now that would have helped. That would have helped. Some of those. Yeah, yeah, I could have. I could have strut around as Thank Jessica you. holding Fauntleroy for, yeah, counsel. Uh, I did not think of that. God, I got to put these assets to work. He, he gathers you all around and thanks you excessively. Uh, you did not run into the single combat that I had as a potential item, uh -huh. which was cool. oh no. Uh, he thanks each and every one of you. Couldn't have done it without you. Still stunned. Doesn't know how he's going to do this. Uh, Camille is wrong. It is a full time job. Uh, and that means that he must turn the reins yeah. of the guild over. No! Fauntleroy. To Fauntleroy. Okay. That's uh, now it is Fauntleroy's turn to be stunned. Um, and I tell Fauntleroy, I will help you. No matter what, my friend. <laughs> is Fauntleroy hot? Yeah, he's pretty so. good looking. I think so. Uh, not that role. <laughs> uh, he, he he's a little under the weather right now. Yeah, he, he, he got took the a shit beat out. Beat out. Oh, he still on. has black Nobody's eyes. Him in the last two days. You know, this is not Walmart of healing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a process here. Uh, Famunda is still walking around with the cane, so it's going to be a few days That's for him. That's pretty bad. Yeah, we're going to uh, have to find a clerk with greater restoration <laughs> he is ecstatic uh all four of the current sitting members uh come over and congratulate him uh danica holds no animosity whatever apparently. she's a cunt uh, <laughs> there she you is. go there you go uh, you can't tell our, me she doesn't have any type of animosity after all that shit it is what it she's is she's not showing it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> uh here ends the long and laborious day of voting. Uh, as you can see, it is important to vote because you never know when no shit two votes uh, decide the outcome. So the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. And he was losing until you got that 50. <laughs> because he, he rolled a 22. Oh, okay. And you still only beat him by two votes. So, nice. uh, you are heroes. You have the key to the city. You are voting members of the citizenry, which makes you special in every single. We're case. solid citizens not now. Special. Right. Not helmet special. Uh, the cookies uh, with the face were a good idea. So was the uh, alcohol. Or uh, alcohol was given by Otto, by the way. Ah, oh, uh, no wonder. You, you gotta, hey, you gotta, you gotta you play got, it smart, man. Yeah. Was that the only thing he gave out? Uh, probably syphilis. Raging cases of syphilis. We did, cookies, we did coffee. We did skywriting. Uma Thurman did skywriting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a cunt. She countered us. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we we almost made it to ten. Uh, had we done the fight, we Thank would you, have been. Thank you, Kyle. Over we probably would have went over. <laughs> yes, we would have gone over. So Kyle, see. Uh, you should have Dibble Thibbet fought them. Uh, was Dibble the encounter? What? Was Dibble the encounter? The encounter was on the way to, because I figured you guys would have uh, to go get coffee, so I put the encounter there. Uh, oh. But it, it did not roll out. And the, so, okay. the alleyway? Yeah, it was either going to be on the way or back. It mm. wasn't on the way, and you guys went the wrong way. And so okay. what was the encounter going to be? Uh, it was a friend Protester. of Otto. Oh, okay. Mm. So, uh, Caitlin, what'd you think? Um, it's weird having a round or session where we did not fight anyone. Yes. <laughs> I, I, was, I was curious as to how that would work out. Uh, yeah. But with the campaign, uh, they have assured me that sometimes you don't have to fight. I think those guys are just high. They're high. <laughs> uh, but did you have fun? Uh, yes. Yes. It's I... very fitting for our upcoming election. So. Yes. <laughs> Strange yeah. how that works out. Okay. Here, Frank here, is so smart. Here we go. For a post-election celebration, Camille and I break out that bong that we got from Hebo's yes. head shop. Yes. And celebrate 
with Fauntleroy. <laughs> oh, and you're going to get Fauntleroy high. That's oh, yeah. an awesome idea. Fauntleroy got his ass beat, and now he's going to be in charge. <laughs> That's true. He is going to be your boss. Yep. Uh, fair enough. David, uh, what would you think? I enjoyed it. it. It was great. And throwing the election stuff in there was priceless. That was awesome. So. You gotta, you gotta bring in real world every once in a while. Hey, we, at least we had the right candidate, you know. So, uh, you almost didn't. No, I know. <laughs> this, this was not a sure thing, uh, mm-hmm. folks at home. This was the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. And like I said, uh, you had a twenty-eight point differential at the end. Because it was not going to be your boss. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, Carrie, did you have fun? I had fun, although I will say it could have almost been the War Cow episode. Because if we had ended up with Otto, yeah. You see, I would have been sad if you Zadar, have had any sex if Zadar actually time. got not the nomination. I probably would have had to retire Sadar to be a full-time councilman. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Possibly. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, council position is a full-time job. So mm-hmm. he's going to get his own gold plaque on his door. Uh, but Wait. you know what? Eunice, she needs to have a statue. Yes, uh, I yes. have it marked down as a bronze statue. Are no, you guys going to pay no. for that? Gold. Uh, gold will get stolen on the docks. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. No. Fine. And you guys still haven't decided where you're going to put the wooden Mortimer J. Sneed statue. That's in the guild hall. Yeah, yep. that, that has to stay in the guild hall. That stays in the guild hall. Because that's going to hold my robe. There you go. Close. Uh, yeah, we'll dress it up for the holidays. <laughs> nice. Right? So, Daphne, did you have fun? I did. I had fun. Zadar? I had lots of fun. It was Camille? a lot of fun. You know I did. There I you go, folks. A lot. Uh, <laughs> a friend. So now it's Mr. Min and the coffee trotter. Uh, that's true. That's uh, it. Oh, that's right. The coffee trotter. Trotters. Trotters coffee. Like globe trotters. Globe yeah, trotters we, coffee. We we come out with our own blend. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys are fifth level, but now you're kind of poor. So it looks like <laughs> yeah. you guys are going to have to find some new jobs. Hopefully, hopefully, Fauntleroy is able to go ahead and find you the jobs that pay the most. But now I oh. have really cool spells. Yes, she almost took Fireball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! But she hey, can, can you race the dead now? I can. She oh, can, she can animate dead. <laughs> animate dead. Yes, that's the one I was waiting for. Which one did you take on your spell? It was pulse thrust or something? It was pulse wave. Or pulse, pulse wave. wave. Yeah. That's a good one. That's mm-hmm. a nasty one. Folks, uh, we hope you enjoyed this. Sorry that there wasn't more combat slash any combat. Uh, <laughs> every once in a while, I do have to let these guys try and talk their way into despicable moments but that did not happen so but thanks for following us uh follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy cool stuff like a zipper bag it's down there if you want to join us in shirts if you want to join us in discord and talk uh, D, &D, uh, it's down there most importantly if you want to join us uh on a one shot or on the talk show m hobo inc either Twitter or Gmail, let us know. We'll get you on there. Two hours worth of fun, uh, and we'll do our best to make you smile. Folks, If time's running short. If you haven't registered to vote oh. in the election, please, please do, do yes. so. Vote. Once you register, please, please vote. Even if even I don't if like it's, the vote. Even if it's the other side. We're fucking... independent. There's no one stopping you from voting wherever you want. Right. Just make sure your voice is heard. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the important thing. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we will see you Saturday night as the campaign reaches a turning point in more ways than one. Assholes. <laughs> they are going to not like what I got for them. Folks, have a good night. See you this weekend. Bye, everybody. Boat. Nope. Boat. Go okay, boat. you're muted and you're done.